Alrighty, so now we need to add the reflection into the eye. So for that I'm going to take a little bit of sky color. My favorite for that is some cerulean. I'll just put the tiniest dot down of cerulean. We really don't need much of it. Take the cerulean and mix some white into it. Right, so when painting the eye, I'm literally going to take what I see and I'm going to copy it. So you see you've got little shapes and things. I'm going to put all those shapes and things in. So here I am seeing some uh, hair, some eyelashes. Over there, but I'll add them separately. Let's first get that in. I'll dry it off. Then I'll use some neat white. And that's going to represent the clouds. So here I can see there's some clouds in this area over here. Just put a little bit down there and then I'll fade him out to get a bit of a cloudy effect over there. So that that reflection is not just solid, it actually looks like something. Then I'll take most of that white off the brush and here just add a little bit of a an extra reflection and that just adds that last little bit of life into the eye. Alrighty, let me quickly do the same on the other side. It's quite amazing how these little odd shapes and things give you the, the realism even though you can't see exactly what it is. You may be in, in this case, you, you can't anyway. Um, we saw with the examples that sometimes you can really see exactly what it is. And I'll try and paint that quite accurately. Because the, fo the focus point is the eye. So if you can get that realism in it, people look. And the first thing they see is, wow, I could even see everything reflecting in the eye. You can make lots of mistakes other places, but people are happy. Let's get some black and a nice fine brush and let's add some of these little reflections into there. Alrighty, if we zoom out you can see how nice and alive his eye looks. Suddenly our dog is alive. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on to the nose.